Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Super Much Bring you guys another video. In today's video, this video right here, if you guys cannot afford the new Dragon Glider skin, I don't know, they call it the Frostwing, but it is probably one of the sexiest skins in the game. I know a lot of people can't afford V-Bucks, so if you please can, give this video a thumbs up. Every thousand likes we get on the video, I'm picking a brand new winner to actually earn the Frostwing Glider for free. So guys, if you can't afford it, all you gotta do is give the video a thumbs up. The more likes we get, the more winners we have, but with that being said, I wanna, I wanna kinda break down this glider because a lot of people are really hyping it up to be one of the best gliders in the game and honestly if we're being real with each other this glider sucks i mean the glider looks amazing the glider is awesome but if you're trying to go try hard or you're trying to get fortnite wins and stuff like that the glider sucks if you're just buying the glider and you want to have it just because it's like oh it looks really cool like looks this is a 10 out of 10 looks wise but the thing about this glider the reason a lot of people are like miscalculating it or misjudging it to be like the best glider in the game is because it is extremely big just like all these other legendary gliders in the game they make these legendary ones to be too big to the point where you can't see anything on the map they're extremely loud to the point where you can't sound or anything like that and it does matter when you're going try hard or trying to get wins and stuff if you're landing at a city say for instance you got this big glider on you're not going to be able to see people and where they're landing and stuff like that and that stuff really does matter so that way you, you have an understanding of a map of awareness and you know where people are and stuff like that so if you're running this glider trying to get wins it's definitely not a good idea so for those of you out there that are like oh man i'm bummed out i can't get the glider guys don't worry this glider is nothing special you're not going to see any pros or anything like that running this glider it'll probably be a little popular for the first week maybe two weeks but after that once the new glider comes out it's just going to be dead no one's going to be using the glider just because kind of like the dragon glider that they had way back in uh season i think four it was no one really uses that glider anymore just because it's too big too bulky too much noise and this glider is the same exact way now i hope fortnite actually can end up finding a way to make legendary gliders in the future very convenient and actually help you out a lot not just looks wise but like it's also not just an awesome looking glider but it's small durable and quiet to the point where it's kind of like not really pay to win but to the point where people are going to want to wear it because it's not going to affect their gameplay more than these frost wings or the dragon glider and stuff like that but guys yes i wanted to make this quick video just to shout you guys out again thank you guys so much for the support in yesterday's live stream i got a lot of household duties to do today like uh it's just owning your own house there's a lot to it you guys trust me there's a lot to it but i wanted to make this quick video thank you guys for coming to the stream yesterday so in in regard to that guys i am doing a giveaway on the frost wing glider so if you do want it give the stream a thumbs up appreciate it more than anything but guys don't 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 be too bummed if you can't get this glider it's not one of the best gliders in the game i just want to give you my honest opinion but for those of you out there that are actually going to try hard you're probably definitely not going to wear this glider too much but guys with that being said again i want to thank you all so much for coming to yesterday's live stream if you're curious on what is happening with the cube event thing that's going on basically in fortnite we only have let me check right now we have i think only four days left until the season ends and i believe they're going to extend it like two more days so we've got probably like maybe six more days left in the season maybe four Four days left in the season so it's ending very very soon so the odds of something happening with the cube is very unlikely if you guys remember season four when the rocket event happened everyone was going crazy about it and then there was a crack in the sky for like two weeks but nothing happened prior to that i mean sometimes things would spawn in every once in a while but there was like two or three weeks until the season end the season ends in four days so there's no way nothing's going to happen i think it's just going to start this is how season six is going to start is there's going to be a trailer with the cube and it's going to explain what happens maybe things grow who knows but i don't think in four days they're going to be able to update the game that many times for a whole brand new map to happen so we're gonna have to wait for the big season six update to get a brand new map to get the volcano that everyone's been asking for so yes don't worry none of that stuff's happening there was supposed to be an event today apparently uh, i guess people said four o'clock eastern time something was supposed to happen but nothing happened that's why i didn't live stream i had i had a feeling nothing was going to happen but guys again thank you so much for all the love all the support the more likes we get on the video the more giveaways we got for you guys and i'll see you in the next video Peace.